Good day traders, Mindset Reset, it's Free Cash Friday. Today we had uh, a, a list of opportunities. I'm gonna talk about a few things. I made a little list today. Uh, a lot of questions, a lot of great questions. Uh, Free Cash Friday did not disappoint. Indexes, of course, were moving uh, before the New York session even started. We were outside of the daily ranges. And I wanna talk about a couple of things with regards to that. So. Number one, uh, congratulations to all the traders that uh, not only had trades on indexes, uh, there were traders, we'll talk about gold separately, uh, traders that were trading earlier sessions in the day that had some fantastic opportunities. Understand that on Free Cash Friday, there are two types of opportunities in the closing range of the week. So Friday closes out the week. So we're either going to have one of two scenarios if it's a well-engineered chart. Uh, so we're going to have a trend trade opportunity, a parabolic trend trade opportunity, or a trend trade opportunity as we saw on oil, 9 a.m. from closing price, driven by other time frame traders. And then a third hour reversal in oil after a 100% range expansion, coiling, coiling sideways, timings, levels, behavior of price for a parabolic reversal trade back into traders that were long, right to the low of the day. So there's a couple of things I want to address. And so we've got traders that are executing, and I mean, not only executing, but they're trading significant size. And I congratulate those traders because it's not only that they've gotten to size, but there are consistency. So a lot of traders have been able to trade size in the past, but maybe had some impulsive or rational episodes, which we all have that have done damage. And that requires uh, a lot of, discipline and effort to correct self-sabotaging behaviors while you're at the screen. Even after you're successful, you are never immune from doing, possibly doing damage, which comes to the uh, end of the statement that I always make, uh, timings, levels, behavior, price, behavior of the trader. Because you yourself are the executioner of the trade setups, but then you're also in charge of protecting that capital to lock in the money, get off the screen, fighting all your demons for greed, fear, hope, uh, FOMO. Other traders might have hit a trade. You think you've missed a trade. I've got traders who are banging their heads on the wall saying this is bullshit. They've been doing it for two years. And I'm going to suggest, I put a list of charts up today. It's frustrating to, to try and allow a trader to realize that you're the issue. If, if like today we had a, a, an abundance of opportunities and so I put up the Japanese yen chart to demonstrate what a garbage chart looks like. And I'm going to call garbage charts, garbage charts. You're trading, if you're trading garbage and you're saying that, you know, you're, you're still not seeing it. Number one, stop trading, stop trading. The markets aren't going anywhere. As soon as you release yourself from desperation and, uh, you know, emotional trading, and you allow yourself the time to step back and actually look at the templates. I'm gonna review the weekly templates again this week and sure enough, it's all gonna be off of levels. There are gonna be two types of scenarios on a free cash Friday, a pump and a dump in a well-engineered chart for either a reversal or a trend trade or a dump and a pump for either a reversal or a trend trade. If you understand the template that you're trading, if you're inside, a high and a low on a well-engineered chart, that means they've either already pumped it up in a previous session or dumped it down in a previous session. And when the new session starts, they're going back for the money. So if you're in a garbage chart, that means you're inside of a box that's probably 25 pips, that's not well-engineered. You don't have, you don't even have three levels of rise. The market hasn't broken down to pump up and dump or broken out to dump down and pump. You need to understand the importance of other time frame traders. So gold is a great chart today because yesterday I mentioned that gold could pump up and revisit the low. And it rolled over underneath the closing price, spiked up in the first hour, reversed off of closing price. So if traders were long on longer time frames at closing price level, they were not allowed to get out of that trade without taking a loss. 
So when we're inside of a high and a low of a day, some excellent questions today from traders, you know, asking, should I, you know, can I still trade on the inside? You're missing the concept. Now, number one, you shouldn't trade gold unless you have the experience and you know gold intimately. The timings, the behavior, the type of opportunity that you're going to execute, if there's major red news on the schedule or not, because gold will rip you a new one. And if you're inexperienced or you're not consistent, why do you want to rip and get yourself ripped a new one and then bang yourself, bang your head on the wall? Uh, study gold, learn from it, but focus on the days that it's easy to make money. So we have a creeping trend, it's reversing inside, it's coiling and working its way down in a creeping trend. That's a dangerous market for an inexperienced trader because they're either going to try and trade it on the inside, either in the right direction or the wrong direction, but unless you understand how you could add into that on pullbacks, on pop-ups, you shouldn't trade it. Trade something that's easy. We had major red news on the Canadian dollar. Low of the week. First hour goes vertical. Perfect scenario. I mean, think about it this way. Other time frame traders come into the market, there's a big pin on the low of the day, one hour. Everybody's looking at these little bars, they wanna get in as soon as they can. You're missing the concept of time. I answered a question to a trader today. You know, is this a range breakout? Is, is this what type of, you know, I like the 15 minute, I like the five minute. It's, it's about the time of day and the level and the behavior of price. Once you're at the level and you understand how to tell time, new hour, how is price behaving at that level when the new hour starts? The pound Oz is a great example. It reverses off the low of the day second hour coils and goes vertical for 30 pips back into low hanging fruit so there's opportunities everywhere and if you don't understand what a well-engineered chart looks like take some time over the weekend and look at friday's charts number one understand high a day low a day levels on pairs not trades just because it's broken a level does not mean it's a well-engineered chart look for charts that have dumped or pumped Move three levels, whether it's on a longer time frame or on a smaller time frame. It doesn't matter. Have they activated other time frame traders? So as I mentioned, if you're frustrated and you're losing money, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be trading with real money if you're losing, if you're not consistent. Listen to that advice. I've repeated that in, in video after video. If you are losing, stop trading with real money. The markets are not going anywhere. Step back. Master one simple setup, free cash Friday, reversal or trend trade on a well-engineered chart. Don't, don't pick a garbage chart and then beat, get beat up on trading a garbage chart, wondering why it didn't go anywhere when you could have just picked a well-engineered chart for easy, free cash. Time of day, everything is timed and measured. New hours, okay, like people are, looking at oil like it's some magical trade. It's a range expansion. It was a coiled sideways rectangle. 9 a.m. pulled back to closing price. They dumped it down in London to the low of the day, broke back up right at the beginning of the new hour, coiled sideways on a smaller time frame, timings, levels, behavior, price, new hour, and did a 100% range expansion. That was an easy trade. I'll tell you why it was easy. Because all the retail traders were thinking, it's a, it's a high of the week short. There's no short trade yet. Let it go out of balance. Let it break out. They'd already triggered the top. They didn't spike it. They didn't put in a peak formation. There's no trap volume. Think simple. Let it go out of balance. New hour starts. It has the high probability slash possibility of giving us a reversal on Friday. Not Thursday. Friday. It's Friday. It didn't go parabolic, it was a trend trade. So when it's trending up and then it coils sideways into a new hour, that's the opportunity that can reverse back into higher level longs right through the low of the day, maybe even lower, who knows. But think simple, let it go out of balance, which is why I said to traders, stay away from gold. Now it might, it's a creeping trend, it might go parabolic through the low of the week, but Focus on the easy trades. Gold, when you get more experience, yeah, it moves. But if you're going to get chopped up or if you want to get mentally beat up, focus on gold. 
until you have the experience, I would suggest avoiding markets when they're inside unless you have a larger time frame thesis for a parabolic move on a third, a day three, free cash Friday, free cash Wednesday. So indexes were a great example where we have movement before a session begins. So as I always say this, if a market dumps down prior to an open of a session, remember a lot of that price action is what they want you to see. It's not real. It's not real unless you get into the market. The, the market's not even open yet. Unless you're already in a trade, that price action outside of the ranges and everything else is what they want you to see. They might have already gone up and cleared out money. They get people shorting the NASDAQ into the open, three, three pins at the high of day for an explosive parabolic squeeze back through the high of the week. DJ30 coils sideways beginning a second hour for a collapse straight down through closing price level from high of day. Now, it coiled underneath. Where is the money? High of the week, low of the day. Where is the money? It broke down. Everybody above the low of day level and closing price is now trapped. Peak formation was up. Peak formation was up on the NASDAQ, but they worked into the high of day level for a short squeeze, which comes back to me saying this yesterday. Sit on your hands and wait if you don't have the experience. There are, there are some very experienced traders who are going to be nailing some of these trades with size prior to the open, first hour, second hour, but they have more experience. So give yourself some time to develop and develop the understanding of timing and the levels. Don't worry about trying to catch every move or when the market goes volatile, trying to, to get into that market. Focus on setups, not movement. So important. S&P did not really go back to any particular level with a best trade setup, in my opinion. I thought the DJ30 was an awesome opportunity for shorting not only into the open from the, from the high of day level, second hour, at the low of day, or sorry, at closing price, when the market opened and after it coiled sideways underneath the low of day level targeting the low of the previous day because that's where the money is nasdaq to me was an awesome short squeeze opportunity they coiled it sideways engulfment pin hammer uh, for an explosive move back through the high of the week we had several currency pairs that gave reversal opportunities uh, again the canadian cross pairs a golden opportunity to use the news as a catalyst to sit and wait one hour, two hours, third hour trade opportunity. Think about that. One hour, two hours, three hour opportunity. How do you know that? First hour is the news. Let it consolidate. Second hour, they jam traders in chasing the short trend. Third hour, reversal coiled sideways going back towards the high of the day, currently in a range expansion, I believe, through the high of the day, because people who are short, right, they're not only going to just go up and pop them out, they're probably going to run through their stops for at least maybe 25 to 50 pips. So it's really important to step back and allow yourself the understanding of the bigger picture. And if you're thinking about other time frame traders driving these moves, understand the importance of the hourly rotation. It's about timings. Timings, time of day, the levels, the behavior of price. So important. Other time frame traders are going to be driving these moves, which means once you're in, you can have the confidence to hold on to something and allow it to go through to its profit target. Okay? Managing your risk, once you get better at that and understanding the type of setup that you're trading, that's when you can focus on is this a trade that I can add positions into? Where should I take some profits off to make sure that I get paid and still hold on to this trade and maybe add back in if it's going to go on a range expansion? Uh, honestly, free cash Friday, it's not going away. So step back. The traders that are nailing this, I know a couple of traders killed it on the indexes today. Uh, a couple of traders killed it on oil. Um, and there were awesome opportunities on on the currency pairs. Uh, so congratulations. I think this was actually a fantastic week. I know some traders felt it was choppy and that. Focus on the setups. 
peel through an instrument. Most of the instruments gave at least one great parabolic opportunity in one or two sessions during the week. And I'll go back through that uh, in today's video. So I want to congratulate the traders, but I really want to emphasize the mindset component. The behavior of the trader is critical. If you are frustrated or you are banging your head against the wall or you are losing, it is not anything other than your behavior and your understanding, which can be fixed. You can manage change in that area. Those are areas that can be controlled by yourself. The markets, the templates are rinse and repeat every single week. I've shown first red day, first green day, uh, inside day trades this week, three session setups, free cash Friday, free cash Wednesday, trend trades, reversal trades, pump and dumps, dump and pumps. They have been textbook perfect opportunities right out of the playbook this week. And if you don't see that, just stop. Take some time over the weekend. Understand timing. Understand just sitting and waiting and watching. Once your thesis may be coming to life, if you're going to trade, trade as small as possible. Focus on execution of the trade setup and managing yourself in live time. If you don't, and I'll close on this, if you don't do that, if you do not develop mastery of understanding the setups, you will be in the same position next week, the same position next month, the same position next year. A couple traders to message me today and said they, they're done, they're not trading anymore. And I, and I commend you for making that decision because trading is not for everybody. And you have to be in control of yourself. You have to be the master of yourself, your emotions, your self-talk, your mindset, your environment around you in your trading space. If you are desperate, you will trade desperate, you will trade in desperation. If you are in control of yourself and, and you understand intrinsically all aspects of your trade setups, you will have the confidence to execute those to hunt them out, to hunt out the best instruments. There are only three levels on the charts that every single trader has every day and at the end of the week. We have all the information on the board. There's at least 20 instruments you could scroll through to find one best trade candidate. Not a garbage candidate, a best trade candidate. So the rubber needs to meet the road. The setups are there every single week. Again, I congratulate the traders that are putting in the effort and, and slowly, gradually building that up. It takes time. It is not, it's the hardest way to make easy money. So you need to respect the, the fact that I'm trying to provide all of that for you in the sense that the, the one thing that may be standing in your way if you're not where you want to be is looking at you in the mirror. And I, and I have empathy, but I don't have sympathy because I've had to, I've had to conquer my own demons. And I continue to, to fight those every single day, as every trader does. You will be enticed. You will be, you know, uh, they will dangle carrots in front of you every single day. Little carrots of free cash that you think is low-hanging fruit or an opportunity to catch a move or grab some pips. And that can be the undoing of you. Little, little impulsive, emotional overconfidence, over leveraging, get even, get back to the high water mark, anger, frustration, all of those things, you need to conquer them. If you are master of your yourself, master of your domain and master of your setups, there is nothing that the market can do to you, nothing. And you can do anything that you want because the market won't change. The setups will be there every week. So, Again, congratulations, traders. Uh, this was a massive week and uh, free cash Friday. It was. It was very clean. Very clean opportunities today. Textbook opportunities all over the board. So over the weekend, do your homework. The traders that had a great week, celebrate, reward yourself. As I said the other day, make your efforts. Even if you didn't have a, a big week financially, but you did things right and you executed some trades, Reward yourself. Make it make it real. Make it tangible. All the effort you're putting in. Don't beat yourself up. Get away from the screen. Go work out. 
have some free time. It's winnable. It's a winnable game. The only thing that may be stopping you from being at the level that you want is between the ears. Once you understand that and you conquer that, and you step back and you work from those levels and understand what the setups are. There, there's only two when it boils down to the execution. Dump and pump, pump and dump. Every single time. There was money laying on the floor today, as Jim Rogers said. All you had to do was wait till it was laying there and then walk over and pick it up. So congratulations to the traders who are uh, considering giving it up. As I said, it's not for everybody. I, I support you 100% in either decision that you make. I hope that you, uh, regardless of the decision you make, I, I, I hope that you get what you're after. And to the traders who are borderline, who are, who are questioning things or struggling, uh, you're not alone. But once you pass through the abyss and you see it, you will in disbelief look back and, and wonder how you could not have seen it earlier. Timings, levels, behavior of price. There's a lot of stuff being peddled out there and bottled up and resold and told as other stories and blah, blah, blah. There's three levels on the chart every single day. The time of day is the same every single week. The days of the week are the same every single week. Think about that. Monday's the opening range. Tuesday's the initial balance. Wednesday is the midpoint range of the week. Thursday's day two, heading into the closing range of the week. Friday closes out the week. Monday opens it, Friday closes it. In between, we have a high-low. Think about it. Asia, London, New York. Session three on day three on Friday. Closes out the week. Closes out the week. Have a great weekend, traders. Next week will be even better, and it will be the same thing. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Have a great weekend, and may the markets go with you.